Hey guys, today we're at the property. I wanted to do a Tiffany's Tell All video about some of the general questions that I've been getting about the property. So I figured why not do it at the property? We are busy clearing trees. As you can see, all of this area behind me is clear and we have a lot of uh, area in front of us cleared as well. You'll see that in the upcoming weeks. However, um, I just haven't gotten around to editing them yet. Uh, like I said in my last video, I'm going to try and do either bi-weekly or weekly. That's what you guys suggested for videos. The progress is happening fairly quickly, so I think every month would actually be too um, too much of footage to do in one video. So that's why I'm going to be doing either weekly or bi-weekly, bi depending on how much footage. So we are pretty much halfway back um, by now of clearing. So I just wanted to answer some questions that you guys had about the property. And the first one uh, comes from Sydney Martin. Will, when will you start clearing trees? Obviously we've already started that process. If you watched our last video, you'll see in that video, that is actually when we started clearing the property. The next day we go in and we start clearing all the brush and that. So each day we've come to do more and more. Um, this question comes from Marsh Diacoca. <laughs> um, are you responsible for clearing out the property or is that something you will look into hiring someone for? And the answer is we're doing it all ourselves. So the day we came here, we started whipping, we started cutting down trees, we started pulling out stumps with the truck. Um, everything that we've done so far, we've done by ourselves. And that's just mainly because it's cheaper. The only thing that we've really spent so far is gas money, um, a chain for a chainsaw, and I've also bought a, a chipper, like a wood chipper. Uh, and that's just because it was cheaper to buy one than to rent one each time we would need it So that's pretty much what we've spent so far whereas hiring someone it would probably cost Thousands of dollars to do so that's how we're saving money is to do that. Hi, dude What is that? I don't think you should have that I don't know what that's from does daddy know what that's from Can you show the camera show the camera No. do you know what that's from? What he has? No. Because it looks not safe. Drop it, please. No. Please and thank you. No. Please and thank here, you. Here, let me see. Let mommy see. Yeah. Yeah, show the camera. No, here, show here. What is that? Huh? Not it the, looks from a bush or something. The tree? It's from the tree. Oh. Okay, don't put it in your mouth, okay? You can hold it, but don't put it in your mouth. No. Okay, go see daddy. Or do you want to sit with me? No. Okay, you're just going to have to bear with me. There's noises, there's kids, there's dogs, there's Kyle. Just going to have to bear with me. Um, but the next question comes from uh, Mallory Muse. It says, hey Tiffany, approximately how long will it take to clear out the land before you start to build? And the answer to that question is we don't exactly know how long, but we're going to spend all the rest of this year until winter, basically until the snow flies. Um, if we're done sooner than that, that's great. But we're going to spend all this year Mommy, clearing. Yes, Damien. Want... You want gloves? Okay, you have to go ask daddy for gloves. Get gloves. We're going to spend all this year clearing. As you can see, like I mentioned, we're already halfway back. So that's pretty good. However, there's still more things to be done even after clearing. So that is pulling out stumps. We haven't even touched bigger trees yet. We're just doing the trees that we know we can do ourselves without heavy machinery um, because we are using dad's truck to pull out stumps. So as for like the big huge pines and that, we can't do that with his truck. Uh, we don't want to risk breaking his truck. So. Uh, we're gonna clear all the little stuff for now and then as soon as we're done that we'll have room to drop the big trees and then we can get machinery in here to pull out those big stumps and then we'll also have the machinery to uh, level the land um, and make the land the way we want to because it does go up on a hill like this towards the back of the property so we want to make sure that we're leveling it out um, enough that it will work 
for the house. So this question comes from Robin Galipsy, I think. Galipsy. Are you going to leave some trees or are you going to clear the whole lot? I know you guys can use the trees as firewood since you heat with it. And that's totally true. We heat with wood and luckily all the trees in this uh, lot are hardwood so you can use them to burn. There's a few here and there that are useless to us. They're softwoods and you can't use them to burn. Those ones we will be just kind of getting rid of. Um, some of them will actually be staying. We have this big huge pine tree at the front which will be in the front yard. It is way too big for us to drop ourselves because there is a garage across the road um, that we don't want to risk it falling the opposite direction that we would want it to fall. So we're leaving that one there for now. We're gonna see how it looks um, once the property is cleared. If we still don't like it at the end, we'll have an arborist come in and drop it. But as for trees that we'll be keeping, there is a maple in front that I think it will be too close to the house, which sucks because it's a beautiful maple tree, but it's one of those things where if it's in the way of the house, then you can't keep it there. So all along the front of the property, the uh, trees will be staying because we do want it a little bit secluded. Just where the driveway will be, um, will be cleared. And then along this side here, um, there is actually what's called a road allowance in between our uh, lot and the next lot. So that will all be trees. And then on this side, um, there's a lot that actually someone owns and we don't know if they're planning on selling or building or whatever one day but their backyard will basically back onto our side yard so they will decide what they're going to do with that but for the most part we'll be clearing all of that side as well because our house is so wide it's about 76 feet wide and the lot is about a hundred so you have to keep um, your house a certain distance from the property lines so I think there's like seven and a half feet on one side and then 18 feet on the other or something I can't even remember so we pretty much have to clear both uh, sides completely we would like to eventually add in a hedge um, to that side just because we don't want someone's backyard in our front yard or side yard so that was one of the downfalls with this property is that their property backs onto ours but we have an amazing backyard because it is the road allowance property and it is a huge property that no one can build on so we know for sure that no one will be in our backyard. So I think that's all for the Tiffany's Tell All today. I just wanted to answer those few questions that I got. Um, I've been having very similar questions to those throughout the last couple videos so I wanted to answer them and just give you a little bit of a sneak peek of our lot. Uh, you'll see this in the weeks to come obviously uh, from start to finish you'll see so I just wanted to answer those and I hope it answered your questions if you have any more questions regarding the lot or anything else please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them in another Tiffany's Hell All if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>